show you tube and for normal you can this is yet another tutorial showing two battle that I fought. This battle was fought on the Alpine Ridge map and I see sometimes when I fight on this map or the um the other ridge map whose name I presently don't remember, I don't bring archers. I tend to bring um just rush armies. Because anyway people tend to rush the region so I when you get on it, especially on the secure each map, what was the other map name? Uh, you your armies are so close that <laughs> there's really no point in using the archers. So this time I got one, two, three, four units of katana steamer, one unit of uh, uh, I'm sorry, make five units of katana steamer, one unit of longsword shigar, one unit of katana heroes, and I got my cavalry, which is two units of like, great guard and two units of great cavalry. Well, my opponent in this nice pink outfit got uh, one, two units of archers, and they are bow warrior monks and bow warrior monks. Then he got uh, two units of matchlock warrior monks. He then got, uh, guess what, imaginary warrior monks. He got uh, three units of those. Then he got uh, uh, one unit of katana samurai. And do I even have no Daki Samurai? Yes, some cavalry hidden here, if I'm not mistaken. And that's pretty much everything I have. And my opponent de deployed in a but really a smart way, because he deployed right in the middle of this, this let's call him, of his pool. And uh, he probably thinks this is gonna slow down my cavalry, and that's true, but it's really too small to be of any, of any effect. And charging forward, I'm getting. I took some pretty heavy losses from my opponent's uh, matchlocks, but now I'm coming into a melee. Here yeah, I moved my two units, uh, two units of cavalry, uh, my, I mean, my enemy's back. I charge a spearman with my katana samurai. Here yeah, I get two units of katana samurai versus his own. And well, this is basically a kind of cool thing. Now my opponent is keeping his guys still to ward off my cavalry, but he's not warding off his unit of cavalry, his two units. Uh, going against this warrior monks. Here I'm winning a melee with this, and the same is, is happening here, even because I got a charge with my great guard. I charge in with two units of great guard against these archers, and my opponent got uh, a hidden unit of air cavalry with this wood, but it's just an unupgraded unit. Here I got a level 2 great guard, so my opponent sends for some legendary warrior monks, but for some reason, because they're not charging, yeah, now we are. And I believe, and I'm not gonna notice this and just leave my grey guard there. No big deal, however. My opponent also got two units of two more units of Yari cavalry here, and for some reason, this guy's just standing still and not doing anything. Now we charge into a mess with my troops. Uh, sorry, I had to stop recording for a few seconds. Now we charge in. We try to get my general. I was pretty, pretty stupid by leaving him here. But luckily, I I managed to pull him pull him off, and I and buddy dies. That sucks. <laughs> I sent in, I tried to send in my cavalry, but it was too late. So now this battle is getting pretty pretty bad for me because you know what happens when you have no general. Basically, your morale falls uh, all over, falls down all over the field. But luckily, my men are very elite, so some of them are actually holding. Yeah, I'm trying to kill his uh, his Yeri cavalry, and here's his general. He charged him. I am trying to take him down with everything that I got because my holy hope is to balance the loss of my general by taking down his own. But here, however, I still got many troops. And the problem is, yeah, <laughs> this is the problem. But the National Warrior Monks get the um, Warcry ability, which basically uh, is a huge nerf on your uh, your man's uh, fighting abilities and on your man's morale. And at this point of the battle, a such a hit on my morale can really be devastating. So that's my opponent's Avatar's bodyguard, and I believe he's still alive. The Avatar, yeah, he's still alive. By, but now he runs away. Finally. And so now things are pretty much balanced out. But my opponent is only left with two units of Naginata Warrior Monks, while I still have lots of Katana Samurai. Losing my general in the early phases of the battle was really a huge blow, but luckily I managed to compensate for that. And so now it's 
Montana versus uh, Naginata. I have the Warrior Monks can be as elite as we wish, but against Katana units are not gonna stand. So, it was close. <laughs> this was really, really close. But luckily, I had a good start, so even if I lost my general, I, I was still in the condition to win the battle, and getting and taking down his general was, uh, was the move that I needed to win. But it was really, really close. I made a big mistake by leaving my general so exposed. My opponent played well with cavalry, even if he <laughs> kept those two units still for some time. He was probably busy micromanaging his other units and used them to good results after that. So good game to my opponent and thank you for watching. Ciao guys!